get in there. Yeah, Miss Cook. And let's get more greens and send them over there. Okay, good. This here is cleared. And it actually did it kind of well for once. Much to the, uh, but though to the constant resist resistance of the uh, greens. Ooh, fair bit of gear there. Well, actually, two bits of gear and some money. And as you can see, the reds are still idiots, same as ever. Probably shouldn't be popping my mana to do that, but oh, I just don't have the patience for anything else. Am I the only one being reminded of uh, the? the the Dark Messiah might magic with this architecture. Something about it is making me think of the f uh, of the uh, city in it. It's then again, it's a generic fantasy city, so it's not you know nothing new. Kill, kill my worthless. Kill. Well, kill my worthless minions. Kill. Eh. Not the not the best battle cries, but yeah. When I said worthless, there all I could think of was the, sh it was the manga loveless. Bit different. I remember my aunt asserting that, oh, the loveless thing they uh, talk about in Final Fantasy VII. Oh, yeah, that's totally this. And since I was a kid and never saw what the fuck she was talking about, I thought, oh, cool, it's a spin off. Cool. No, it's not. It's not in the slightest. Loveless is some like, epic po poem or epic story within Final Fantasy VII. It's about, you know, it's like a, a poetry thing or something. Uh, the Loveless Manga? It's about a 11 year old kid. Uh, um, follows an 11 year old kid in a world of magic, and for whatever reason, people when they are young or after virginity ha are something. I don't know what causes them to lose it, but they've cat ears. The kid is. After going through some traumatic event, his brother's after dying, and his mom bites and attacks him because the kid's after he's am he's amnesia. He's not the like he doesn't have any of his memories. He's you know basically a different person, and the mother's really not taking it well. And such is another cunt. Um, I can understand grieving all that, but when you start biting your kid, stabbing your kid, you kind of outstay your any sympathy. Um, and, but then it gets weirdly sexual. Um, apparently the brother, you know, used magic, he, and everyone has a true name, uh, kind of, kind of thing. And he was friends with this other guy, some college-age guy, and the guy, college-age guy's name was Beloved or something? A true name? Or, like, a word his name associated with him. And the way the mage thing worked was uh, one would be the damage taker and the other would be damage dealer. And he suppose we focused on the damage de taker. The damage dealer would try and hurt, or beat up the other, per the, the inverse on the other team. Well, the damage taker on the other side. Um, and there's uh, like some negative reaction if the, if the two names of the people didn't match. So at one stage, the guys, um, like it was like a weird brand he had. So when he, the guy was protect the college, the friend of the brother was protecting the kid from two nutters with magic. Um, for some reason, the guy's brand starts bleeding because of the name and matching. The kid starts licking it cl clean, we, and it was like a, it was just a really weird scene, and it's just like, you know, see it out of context, and you think it's you know like some you know weird hentai or something, you know. Well, not hentai, but, you know, that kind of thing. And to be honest, it was just... It was just a very weird manga. It's just a very strange manga. And here's the thing. She actually had seen it, and was still asserting that. So, either she re had really weird expectations of a Final Fantasy VII spinoff, or she was fucking with me. Either is possible. Either is possible. I just love how some of them fell over, others are just like, I got He has a fantastic voice. And I'm just like, uh-huh. 
Ага. I am not a fan of the con boss fight. Ooh, that looks cool. That actually was the best uh, version of uh, uh, the best time I've ever had of that. The best uh, fight I've ever had there. Oh, some of them are stuck. That means I have to do the rest of this fight with only 28, unless they pop back during one of the other cutscenes. Thank you. Probably thinks I should have left that come up here. Might have killed these guys and freed them. Freed them from my misery. Mm. Irritating. Again, that's why, like I said, if I have a choice between the Overworld 1 system or the Overworld 2 system, I will choose the Overworld 2 system. Okay, they're trying to... Oh, actually, there, there was actually a container there. Alright. I thought they were insane and just trying to beat up the sidewall there. Booyah. Booyah. Uh, and there's yet more good gear here. They're gonna need every last ounce they can get, because they, we're gonna have to do this with 28 of the fuckers. It's a weird golden curve to dagger. Cool. Uh, or maybe it's meant to be a golden sickle. I'm not entirely sure. It's probably meant to be a golden sickle. I'm not sure if a curve to dagger like that would be and we're useful. Then again, this is a fantasy game. So, that might be entirely relevant. Probably isn't. Okay, recall all. And there's them. This is a place where there's actually a glitch that may or may not work for you. Worked in the Xbox, but it might, it's probably patched out here. I tried before and it didn't work. Basically, you sweep your minions up ahead. And you bring them all the way as far as you can go. There's a little bonfire you walked uh, walk past over there, and that's the um, trigger for the boss fight. If you sweep these across the bridge, uh, the enemies don't start spawning. The boss just stands there, and all goes well. But I'm going to do this the harder way because, um, well, that's the way I rock. Okay, the rangers are irritatingly trying to fight. Shit, they're all just spawning. Let's keep the trash talking to... Well, not the trash talking, but the commentary on the move. Dramatic entrance. She is mine. He cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. Here's the funny part. We actually have no grievance with this guy. Oh, Christ, I've got all my minions now. All 35 of my fragile, fragile minions. Do that quickly. I actually had so much difficulty doing this the first time around. Okay, come on, keep moving. Uh, there's actually a cheap way you can do it. See behind the green spawner? You can plonk up a ton of red minions. And he won't be able to reach them. I'm actually going to do something I don't normally do. But I can get away with here. I took a bit of damage. Um, basically, engage in melee. Not most of the time, I'm too scared of him. But in th with this mace, this armor, I'm fantastic. 
by trashing around this random city that's nowhere nearby. Again, he's the um, the sin of anger, not intelligence. Uh, the deadly sin of rage, not intelligence. I just remember seeing a biblical quote or hearing about a biblical quote that if you ever experience anger, you've committed murder in your heart. It was completely weird. Completely weird. Because, it, just putting it this way, like, if that's the case, then I've committed genocide in my heart. So, yeah. At least, anyway, the uh, cutscenes are nice enough to unglitch your minions. So. That's one thing I can give in the game's favor. Cooperative cutscenes. Okay, no, someone someone must be in favor of that gear. Could be that they just don't want and can't grab it. No, if they couldn't grab it, then they'll be hanging around more. I like you know they'll be just standing there glitching. Red, come on back. Uh, no, wait. Uh, trash this. At least having some greens will help make sure if there's any actual containers in the house, they actually get broken. Green. Greens, please be useful. Your reds are idiots. Well, the reds are idiots. Okay, all. Oh. I'll send all out, see if they need any upgrades. Because I imagine some of them do. Yes. And sadly, that one's glitched. Just the, that was fun, voice is adorable. Beautiful. Attack. Well, I saw straight up five. Christ. I suppose I did. The Reds ended up in melee, so that shouldn't really surprise me in the slightest. If the Reds end up in, uh, you know, anywhere near an enemy, they're dead. How sometimes I start to wonder if they're on the same plane of reality, if they're on the same thing of existence, they end up dead. Oh, whoops. Ah, well. I've stopped caring. But yeah, I think I may have to go call people so I can actually get full corruption. It's in the title of all these videos. I've been saying that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to get try and get that done. I protect. She needs I, protect. I also attack. I'm just thinking that meme now. Um... Please kill the spawners. Also, did I? Uh, I must have gotten all my mana back from a potion or something. Oh, well, a ton of potions. Because I didn't sacrifice any minions there unless I blacked out for a moment. I'll move, 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 move. Ah, there we go. Ow! Fucking hitboxes, Batman! I do like the design on his armor, though. He, for a moment there, his hand went to his chest, and it's just like, what, he having a heart attack? <laughs> I didn't actually get to fin get deliver the strike. Uh, since I would be mashing the spacebar, it automatically got delivered. But yeah, it would just it would be funny if he technically died of a heart attack. Your presence is required. Return to the tower. Hmm. Wonder why. Maybe Joel has something else to tell us. But the wizard, perhaps. Oh. 
Oh, no? Oh, this is the respect I've been asking for. Wait, what? I've always been loyal to evil. I don't ask questions. Evil is as evil does. Wouldn't it be a real twist if Narl was the real overlord? I am home. Even if I did have to hitch a ride inside this recent and weary body. I believe you've met my daughters. As if I'd let you get away with ditching me for that harpy in black lace. She has been most useful to me. And then there's Velvet. I don't think she's quite made up her mind yet. Well, a girl has to keep her options open, my darling. You thought you'd killed me, didn't you? You and your hero friends. Say again. But I'd planned a little trip. See, we get under good skin, literally. That fool wizard thought he'd won, but I purged his very soul and became one with his mortal carcass. Now that, you'll agree, is a cunning plan. One by one, the others fell to my corrupting influence. Those walls of goodness, purity, obedience. One just has to know where to push. And as for you, you fell, and they left you behind in their desperation to become heroes. I gave you a second chance, a different path. You were of use to me. Now you're just in my way. Minion! Hashtag! Hashtag! We are your minions, sire! You need a minion for you! I believe you'll be boring by the spreaders! suddenly, back at the, uh, the pool water. Rose clarifies it's the tower heart that allows her to do this, I think. <sighs> Again, just looking back at that scene, that like I can see what they're going for, but the, like a character being here, like being here, then jerking all the way back over to here, it it, it makes it just really fucks with it. And there's a very little bit of glitchiness throughout that scene. And it just it kind of takes away from it. And I'm a nitpicky bastard, but... Yeah, it, it takes away from it. I Can I actually go down here? Has Narl finally shut up? I don't believe it. <laughs> I can still forge! Um, shit. Technically, you don't need to get 100% uh, to get uh, the corruption ending. I, if memory serves, once you get over 50%, you get it. It's like 51 and higher, I think. Uh, or maybe it's 50-50. Like, if you get 49... Uh, as long as you're below 50, you get the low corrupt, no corruption one. If you're over 50, you get the high corruption one. Maybe that's it. I'm not sure. I still... Like, since I went full... Said in the title, full corruption... I'm still gonna gun for that. Also, where's that? Looks a bit different to anywhere else. Maybe the tutorial area? 